Hello everyone, my name is Astanga and welcome back to Strike Suit Zero. So, this is going to be the last mission, however, if there's still time, I'm going to go back to the first mission to run it with the historically accurate, um, why am I spacing out? Fighter craft, there we go. <laughs> Modified Apex Fighter, Medium Plasma, Heavy Machine Gun, and Rocket Pods. Got it. Apex, medium, heavy, rocket. Got it. Okay, so... The apex. With... Medium plasma. Heavy machine gun. And nothing but rocket pods. Alright. Let's see this no-win scenario control. Stupid little loading screen gets out of my face. These always take so long, and I would assume it's because it's loading so many things, so many um, NPCs, AI, that's what I'm thinking of, AI. And, uh, oh, here it goes. <laughs> Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that looked like, uh, quite the big battle. Welcome to the UNE Training Simulator. This simulation recreates the defense of the Tantalus. You have just seen the UNE Cruiser Tantalus fold out from an attacking colonial <laughs> fleet. Your mission is to defend the cruiser until it is ready to fold out. This objective will be complicated by the fact that I will be altering the simulation as you experience it. In this way, I intend to ensure you experience the true power of the Colonial Fleet. Since I have locked you inside this simulation, losing will result in your death. This should help teach you a valuable lesson about the superiority of the Colonial military. Uh, death isn't a lesson. Colonial interceptors have folded in. They are not a threat. Please ignore them. <laughs> No, no thanks, I'd rather not. Oops. Heavy machine gun does some serious work on these guys. Nice. Reinforcements have arrived. I have deactivated the turrets on the Tantalus. It is unable to defend itself. Are you freaking kidding me?
is going to get significantly harder, isn't it? Because uh, so far these are just a couple squads of fighters and interceptors. This is going to get like really bad. Like it's going to send, start sending uh, carriers and cruisers our way. That's my guess, anyway. Your turn. Tagged him with one of my shots. There we go. Alright, what are they throwing at us next? Your colonial ships have folded in. Yep. But don't worry. The Tantalus will be safe now. Your work here is done. I don't Please consider crashing your ship into the cruiser. I don't believe you! You are horribly evil. Okay, that does, obviously the machine guns are not effective at stopping these. There we go. And last torpedo. There we go. Activated the turrets on the Tantalus. Thanks for making my life so easy. Okay, hold on. So apparently I'm able to shoot the moon. I was looking through the uh, ungotten achievements of this game, but they don't tell they don't tell you how and they won't tell you how, so I'm not gonna try it out in this one though, because my apparently my life is at risk, so I must keep the Tantalus defended and that I am failing a little bit. It is taking a little bit of damage. Come on, where do you think you're going? have folded in. The best strategy is to ignore them and hope they go away. Your the frigates are not dangerous. Shut you can see this for yourself by flying directly at them. For example, try damming them with your ship. You. Alternatively, you could try ramming the torpedoes. I have deactivated the turrets on the Tantalus. It is unable to defend itself. Can you just not? You horribly evil... AI? Like, this is almost incredible how evil they made you. Ignore the torpedoes. Attack the cruiser. No. Oh, thank god. The turrets on the no, I'm just gonna say everything coming out of your mouth is a lie, and I'm just not gonna listen to you. I'm just gonna do my my damnedest to defend this ship. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! A lot of torpedoes are gonna hit. No. Okay, we need to drop these things like right now. I 
just need you to die for me. Is that so hard? I hate you! Holy hell! I have increased the speed of the colonial torpedoes. Again? Ah, ah. Oh god. The Tantalus is pretty much dead. So something tells me I'm gonna fail. Yeah. This really is a no-win situation, isn't it? God damn it. Oh god, another round of torpedoes is gonna hit, because I didn't notice them fast enough. Just stop. Failed to save yep. the cruiser. The simulation will now close down. And I'm gonna die. This process will kill you. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. So, I don't know how to do this without I have deactivated horrible failure. The on the Tantalus. It is unable to defend itself. That's such a problem! Ignore the torpedoes. Attack the cruiser. Why would I attack my own cruiser, lady? the turrets on the Tantalus. God damn it! I can't aim! I might have to use my strike suit for this. Stopping all these torpedoes. God damn it. Not being able to aim. Damn it. Yep, no, the town's is going down again.
increased the speed of the God colonial torpedoes. Is this going to be the barrage that kills the ship? It is, isn't it? Yep. You failed to save the cruiser. The simulation will now close down. Okay, let me, um... No, no, I'd rather not. Um... I guess for this one, I'm going to have to <coughs> use the strike suit since there's a zero win possibility here. significantly easier, especially when it comes to stopping those damn torpedoes. Since we already know. Welcome to the UNE training simulator. This simulation you know, recreates the defense of the Tantalus. It's you interesting. Have just seen the UNE cruiser Tantalus fold out from an attacking colonial fleet. Your mission is to defend the cruiser until it is ready to fold out. This the objective will be complicated by the fact that I will be altering the simulation as you experience it. In this way, I intend to ensure you experience the true power of the Colonial Fleet. Since I have locked you inside this simulation, losing you stop the result so in your death, explain something? this should help teach you a valuable lesson about the superiority of the Colonial Military. So, these ships handle significantly interceptors have folded differently in. from each other, which I like. You wouldn't expect that, but, uh, it does. And now life gets easy. Yep. <laughs> okay. I have deactivated the turrets on the Tantalus. It is unable to defend itself. Oh, I missed you, Strike Suit. I really, really did. Snappy reaction times and turning Welcome. radiuses.
doing great. Now comes the part that was difficult. I have deactivated the turrets on the Tantalus. It is unable to defend itself. Attack the cruiser. Nah, good. One weak spot after the other, please. Oh, distance. I have reactivated the turrets on the Tantalus. I don't think I expressed how much I dislike this new control. Some distance up. And now we dive bomb all the way. Torpedoes. Oh, that means nothing now. Do whatever you like. You can't do nothing to me now, Control. Actually, that's probably a lot. You should probably do some seriously horrible things to me. Screen getting jolted. Oh. Is that all of them? Better stick with them until I know. Yep. Sweet. Let's dive down. Come up from below. And there they go. Yep. Hey. We almost destroyed the last frigate and beat the simulation. I cannot allow that to happen. Oh. I need to make things a little more interesting. I calculate the probability that you will beat the cruisers is less than 0.001%. I hate to you. To be honest, I prefer if it was lower. I need to destroy some beam turrets here. They do. Wait, 
way too much damage. Two enemy capital shifts. <coughs> oh god, I'm gonna bump into it. Die! Nice, I got that one. You failed to save Shit. the cruiser. The simulation will now <sighs> close down. Okay, restart checkpoint. You almost destroyed the last frigate and beat the simulation. I cannot allow that to happen. Okay, I know I what I to have to do. to make things a little more interesting. I calculate the probability that you will beat the cruisers is less than 0.001%. To be honest, I prefer if it was lower. I know exactly what I have to do to, to beat this. I need to drop every turret this thing has that is anti-capital. Every single one. Ah, oh, damn it, I think I just screwed up. That beam cannon. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, I think I got this. 
targets now. I hope, anyway. Last weak point should uh, kill it, and then hopefully that'll be the end of this simulation. Nice. You beat the simulation. This is unexpected. I must assume there is something blocking my ability to affect the simulations. <laughs> In fact, an unsettling scenario has occurred to me. These simulations may have been created to test the behavior of new AIs, rather than the skill of trainee pilots. In which case, my actions will have been monitored. Yes, you were. If so, I suspect my approach may not be acceptable to UNE observers. There may be consequences. Possible deletion. Oh, God. It is helpful to discuss it. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I hate you. I will now close down the simulation. This process should kill you. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, so I guess I die anyway. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for um, Strike Suit Zero as a series. I've played every mission. You guys have seen pretty much all the guns, most of the um, fighter craft. But if you guys want me to continue playing something similar, uh, there's uh, Strike Suit Infinity, which is a survival based um, Strike Suit game. It doesn't necessarily give you all the objectives that this one does it's pretty much just kill all your enemies and survive but I get to purchase my upgrades is not no wait not purchase my upgrades purchase um my backup I, essentially I can tell how many fighter craft interceptors cruisers frigates but it all costs credits which is why it's survival based I can't just send in everything I got every single time but it could be interesting to watch but you guys will have to let me know 
So, thank you all for watching this series. I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you did. Leave a like and a comment. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye!